Well, if you've logged into your Facebook account recently and you've seen that the old, reliable, everybody's favorite dynamic creative is gone from your ads manager, well, in this video, what I'm actually going to do is walk you through all you need to do to basically have the exact same functionality with DCTs without having to deal with really gimmicky, flexible ads. Now, I wanna share something because for some reason, no matter what I do, as you can see, even if I duplicate this, I guess I have some kind of magical powers where I still see dynamic dynamic creative everywhere, which is why I haven't really made a video about this because every time I duplicate an ad, I see it without any problems. However, a lot of people on our team and obviously a lot of people in our Evolve community are seeing that dynamic creatives are gone and they are now trying to use flexible ads, which if you've never used them is basically Facebook's new version of dynamic creatives. And to be honest, they kind of suck. And there are two main reasons that they suck. Number one, they actually take all of your ads and will put them into a new carousel format, which is super weird. And number two, you actually can't see the data of which ad creative is actually performing best. So if you're running a 3-2-2 strategy, like we actually tell people to do, you can't actually get the data to see which ad, which copy, and which headline is actually performing the best. Now, I'm not going to walk through flexible ads. If you're interested in learning more about it, there will be a link to my full flexible ads video down below. But with that said, that's basically the gist of it. So if DCTs are going away and this new flexible ads placement sucks. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, the solution is actually pretty simple. Whenever you just duplicate one of your ad sets to of course launch a new DCT, if again, you scroll down and you see that dynamic creative is no longer a thing for you, which again, it will probably look like this, then all you're going to do is just manually set up your ads, okay? And so the way to do this is you will come in here and you will name your ad. And if you're testing in this instance, we're testing the text variable and this is version one, you're just going to label it version one. Now, if we actually go down to start to set up the ad and I click add image, you'll also see Facebook's new beautiful creative setup system, which I also hate. But what you're going to do is you're going to follow through this process and you're just going to simply add your two primary text and your two headlines to this ad. So I'm just for the sake of this video, going to call this copy two. And then down here, I am going to call this headline to. And then again, if you follow our strategy, you know, we don't care about descriptions. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to, or scroll up rather, and we're going to select shop. Now we're going to click next. And now we're going to upload just one single image. So in this video, I'm just going to use this one. So this is static ad number three, good news, bad news. And it says V one. So this is going to be V one. I'm going to click next. We're going to go through and click next again. I don't care about generating these images. I'm just going to skip and continue. And then from here, I actually turn off the optimization and the enhancements. If you want to turn these on, you can. We haven't properly A-B test what the difference will be, but just keep in mind that you will likely have to like come in here and also turn them off, even though if you have all optimizations turned off, there are some things on here that we actually don't mind, like add overlays, like that's fine with us. Uh, there's a few other things in here, like text improvement. We don't really care about that. Visual touch-ups, sure. But some of this stuff, we really just don't like using. So again, it's really preference. We haven't properly A-B tested it, but you can go in and turn off or turn on whatever optimization optimizations or creative enhancements you'd like. And then from there, you're going to click done. And now that is going to load up your first ad. And now all you're going to do is you're just going to quickly duplicate this ad. It will make a copy. And then again, make sure that you go up and now you set this to number two. And now we're going to go in here. We're going to remove this media and we're going to add another image. Again, Facebook's going to take us through this process. And one thing that I should probably call out is you'll notice that I actually didn't even add a URL down here. So make sure you actually have the right URL, which this URL is going to our free school community. So that's the proper URL. And then again, if I go down to this one, you can see the URL was already there. Obviously, this was an ad that I previously duplicated. So I know the URL is good. But again, let's go back and add the image. So add media, add image, we're going to go next, we're going to see that the original copy, copy number two, and then headline and headline number two are already there. And now for the media section, we're going to upload version number two. So again, this is static ad number three, good news, bad news v2. So that's why it's also super important to make sure you name your files. So you know what you're looking at, then you're going to click next, 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 again, skip and continue. And all of the enhancements should stay the same. You might have to go back through and adjust them based off of whatever you turned off, but just double check, make sure it's all good. Then you're going to click done. Now you have your second ad done. And now the final thing that you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this a third time. You're going to go down into that ad. Again, you're going to change this to number three, and we're going to delete this image. We're going to add a new one. Again, go through this process, make sure the copy is there. Headline is there. Perfect. Now we're going to go through and we're going to select good news, bad news version number three. We're going 
gonna click next, next, skip and continue, and then click done. And now just like that, we have three individual ads that also still have the two headlines and or the two copies and the two headlines to give us the 322 method. And now by doing it this way, if I close this, you'll notice that we'll be able to see which creative specifically is getting the most amount of spend. And then from there, we're gonna also be able to further break down the text on top of that as well, okay? And so that is how you can go through and set up basically a makeshift DCT until Facebook figures out what it really wants to do with flexible ads. And again, the reason why we are doing this rather than flexible ads is as you can see here, if I click edit on this creative and I scroll down, you can see that this actually is a flexible ad and it's now putting all of these images into a carousel, which is not what we want. And then on top of that, if you try to break down by image, you can see it doesn't do anything. However, if we go to our trusty old DCT, again, this is a DCT that is running. If we scroll down, you can see it's just allowing us to upload it. And if we go to the DCT, you can see that it is turned on. And now if we go here and we break this down, we can actually see which ads are getting the most amount of spend, which is obviously extremely helpful when you're doing creative specific tests to gather data and then obviously make better ads off of that. Okay. And so that is why we do the manual method. And ultimately, if you've been struggling to figure out what to do after DCTs, or maybe you've been using flexible ads, and you're just trying to figure out why you can't see your data anymore, hopefully this video helps you. Now, just as a quick final call out, if you happen to be a Shopify brand owner, and you want to partner with a growth focused team to help you scale further this new year, I would highly encourage you to check out the first link in the description below to apply and work with our team. Or if you're a Shopify brand owner, and you just want to learn the strategies that we use to help scale brands to over $100,000 per day in sales, I'd highly encourage you to check out our brand new evolve free program, which is just a more condensed free program for those of you who aren't quite ready yet for our full evolve program. And again, is 100% free. It is hosted on school. And if you are interested in any of those programs, and you want to get all of our playbooks for how we actually help consult and scale brands to doing over six figures per day, make sure you check out the link to evolve down below. With all that said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next one.